Hey guys, how you doing? It's me and Sammy on the road. On the well, we're not on the road yet. We're stomping to get something to eat first, and then we'll be on the road. But uh, I did pretty good today. I got up early. Anyone in there? Okay. Um, got up early and got all my stuff done and I didn't have to panic pack too much. I even took a shower. <laughs> took a shower, made sure Sammy had his, his stuff all done. Um, yeah, I went to the post office and paid for my post office box. Picked up some mail, which I'll go through a little later. Let's see. Um, I told my brother, I gave him the receipt to exchange some stuff for me. I gave him a painting that I wanted him to play around with. And he he's going to. I can't wait till I see what he's done with it. Uh, let's see. What else did I? Oh, I filled up the tank. Baby doll. Thank you. Hello. Yeah. Ooh, I love your hair color. Get your drink. There you go. Okay. Um, let's see. I was gonna go to the bank, but I'm not going to. I'll wait till later. I have I have cash filled up the tank, so I don't have to worry about that. I went to the, the dump and got rid of all my garbage. Put all my stuff back that wasn't supposed to be out. You know, I put it back in the garage storage wise. Got everything done before ten o'clock. Oh, Oh my god. So I'm eating french fries. <laughs> I'm not gonna eat the hamburger while I'm on the road, but I gave Sammy some ch a chicken nugget to munch on. I'm excited and nervous at the same time. Yeah, I am. But it's a beautiful day to be on the road. And, uh... Yeah, after I took a shower... Yeah, I put on the same shirt. I'm, I'm gonna be driving all day. Who the hell cares if I got the same shirt on? I do it. Um, let's see. Anything else important? Ooh! 40 East, 40 East, I'm going on the interstate, 40 East. <laughs> Bye, Newport, I'll miss you. I'll miss you so much. Okay. All right, I'll be back later. Well, here we are, stuck in traffic. <laughs> Um, yeah, apparently there's an accident ahead. I don't know where ahead, but there's an accident ahead. And we're crawling at an amazing speed of, uh, let's see, three miles an hour. <laughs> now, I'm watching my temperature gauge because... It's creeping up there, and I'm thinking, oh, 
Uh, so a lot of little space get in between me and the car up in front, right? In front of me. So I can get a little air going in there. And it's enough to bring it down. Okay. There it goes. Now I get to this exit up here. Um, I'm going to, hopefully I can see far enough ahead that if it's too much more, what are you doing, lady? Oh, my God. Uh, if it's too much more, if it's too... It's going to be a long time. <laughs> I'm pulling off the road. I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'm going to let Sammy go potty. And we're just going to wait until... This is ridiculous to sit and go inch by inch. I could crochet a whole doll by it. <laughs> no. No. Maybe the legs. <laughs> maybe the head and the body, but not a whole doll. Oh, just one of the things you have to put up with, with life on the road. So it's been, it hasn't been really bad. It's been like 35 minutes at a snail's pace, which isn't really bad for an accident on the interstate, you know, back in the traffic. It's not that bad. I've been in, I've been worse things. We were stuck on the road one time. We were going from Norfolk to, to um, Fort Lauderdale once, and we were on the interstate. And, oh my gosh, we were five hours in this backup, and I don't know what happened. If it was an accident or if it was a construct, I can't remember what it was. But thank God, people were nice back in the 70s. And uh, people were handing out, you know, they had coolers in the back of their car. And people were handing out water. You know, they'd exchange water for something to eat or, you know, it was, it was nice, you know. Uh, the bad thing was having to go to the bathroom. That was the tricky part. Yeah. So back then you did the open both passenger <laughs> door and the back, uh, back seat door. So you had a little privacy, you know, and you go do your thing in between the doors. But, uh, ooh, I almost went to five mile an hour there for a second. Hot dog. Woo. Well, this is okay. You know, normally I'm thinking, <laughs> you poor suckers on the other side of the road, they're at a stop, you know, for miles and miles and miles. So, I got nothing to complain about. Maybe. <laughs> I'll be back. Good news, people. I just saw orange cone and flashing lights. <laughs> so that, that means we're almost done. We're almost done. Yep, there's cones up ahead. Ooh, ooh. What, what? Now, you know, by the time I get up here, there's not going to be a damn thing in the room. <laughs> uh, uh oh. I don't know. I'm 
thinking it might be another accident ahead. Oh. Ah, crap. Ah, oh, people are stopped at the exit. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, what do I do? Hmm. What do I do, guys? Are they close in the road all together? Oh shit. Well, I'm on I-40 heading east. I'm at exit 133. So if you hear anything on the news, I was there. Always something to see. Always something to see. Ooh, there are people walking up there. Ooh, there's all kind of people up there. Oh, damn. Damn. I haven't heard any sirens or anything. Ooh! Okay, there's a... There, we're, we all have to get off. Damn. And there's stuff there. Oh my God, it's like a Christmas tree lit up. Woo. Hope everyone's all right. Lord, bless them. Keep them safe. Keep them out of harm. Let the only thing that gets screwed up in their life is their vehicles. Yeah, the fire department's there. Okay, now water. Where are we going, people? Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we? Are we going across? Must have knocked out the traffic light because the cops are well no they probably turned them off they're probably directing traffic Mr. Policeman, you're getting all shook up because no one knows what you're doing, but they're all heading into the sun and they can't see you. Get your little flashlight out. Yeah. 
my god. Get all 
shook up. I, I can't afford to get shook up, okay? When you're... Oh, oh, when you're on the road, you cannot afford to get all panicky if anything happens, okay? Because you might as well just, just stay off the road if you're going to panic every time something comes on. Like, my ABS and e ESP, BAS and the slippery when wet thing, oh, those lights have been on for months. Yeah, I, I, they go on and off all the time. I think it's a loose sensor. That's what I'm going with. Just hit my brakes, done, and they're okay. The car doesn't make any, or the van doesn't make any noise when I stop. It stops good. So, <laughs> listen. I we we used to have a car that oh, another dead deer on the side. That makes about seven or eight. I've seen. Yeah, yeah, and I haven't been able 
able to stop. I got a, a text, but I don't know who it was. Ah, oh, I hope she. I hope Janice is not there waiting on me. <laughs> what are you gonna do? All right, I'll check back in. Listen, the coffee and pumpkin pie fixed everything. <laughs> and I met my friend Janice, and we're, we're camping out tonight, and we'll be going into Moorhead tomorrow. And I uh, just want to let you know I made it. I made it. Yahoo! So take it easy. Take the long way home. Woo -hoo.